Hey all here OS Reviews, some of you guys may remember that towards the start of the pandemic, UV sanitation products became hot commodities as folks purchased it to sanitize, kill off germs on phones and groceries. It was something that eventually didn't become quite as popular anymore, but still UV products I think are interesting. And this is a product from Boris, claims to combine a UV light into this portable vacuum that you're able to use on the bed for instance to get rid of bed mites, in addition to sucking things out, the UV light that it shines on, onto the fabric, the couch, the bed, will also kill germs and bacteria as it goes along, which I do think is pretty clever. So now it's more for personal hygiene and household sanitation than anything else. So you can also use it on just regular carpets and rugs, it will work as well, just in this very small compact size. Claims to also have a five-stage filtration system that will prevent allergies, get rid of dust, and in addition to this UV light, which they claim will sterilize things 99.99%, but it's only pointing downwards, so it's still safe when you are operating it. It also has a heating component, which gets up to 133 degrees Fahrenheit. So it will kind of be ironing or also killing things off using heat at the same time, but of course still work as a suction of up to 12 K pascals. So here is the box. By the way, this sells for a little bit north of $100, so it's decent in terms of considering all the parts that is stacked inside. Inside we have just a quick user guide, and then it has just a very simple presentation, nothing fancy at all, but we have basically just the vacuum now in here, which again, it is just like a regular vacuum, but in a handheld fashion, instead of having a longer arm, for instance, and everything is just a little bit more tightly integrated, but still has that conventional shape. Now maybe the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the cable here on the back is always going to be connected. There's no way to detach this cable or replace it if it breaks, so I think maybe in the future they can make this kind of a something that you can pop in and out, maybe using USB Type-C even, that would be really awesome. It's also going to be one that requires constant power to the wall for operation instead of being rechargeable. I think having that mode or a battery inside could also make it even more versatile, especially since if you're using this on beds, you may be a little bit further away from an outlet. So as kind of a handheld, compact vacuum, I think having an extra power source will never hurt, but it is what it is. The body here, again, is made out of a polycarbonate plastic, but doesn't feel too cheap. Uh, the very top here just has the power key along the handle pretty simple stuff and we have just a little bit more of that branding information along the sides you can kind of see where that dust will collect or you can then eventually pull on to release and empty out the bottom here is slightly translucent so you're kind of able to see and make out the bristles underneath in fact we're also able to make out other components aside from the vacuuming that's happening here we have the uv tube which will be shining that ultraviolet light that kills again any bacteria or germs and then finally the bottom here features just the roller piece that will allow you to glide over surfaces and this pad here is the part that gets hot heating uv and also vacuuming and here's just the final profile look from the side again some simple instructions that tells you when the dust is full and then just press here to basically open up the door dump it out and you are ready to go and that is pretty much it so it's a very simple design you don't even get additional modes on this thing in terms of let's say whether you want to change the intensity of the uv light or the intensity of the heat or even the suction strength from low medium or high all of those are just kind of at maximum by default let's take a quick look how it works again in person just by turning it on <laughs> Some additional things which are pretty cool aside from seeing that component spin would be the window here that you can see if the UV light is turned on or off. What's clever here is there is a sensor that can detect if you're lifting the vacuum up, you can see here how the light turned off in our demo. So it will prevent any harmful UV rays from say contacting your skin or from other people around you if you have it lifted up from a surface, which is a nice smart sensor. Gliding it over a surface was also mostly fine. If it's too soft, you may have to put a little bit more of a force, kind of a bit of a workout into it, but on firmer surfaces, especially with cushions on sofas, it does glide along quite well. All right, so that is more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the Boris handheld vacuum cleaner. It definitely is quite effective for its size in terms of really picking up a lot of dust. And again, the extra sanitation filters do help has an attractive design and overall reasonable price. Of course, areas that it can improve on, for one, again, having maybe some more granular control right now, 
the maximum strength works well, but it definitely is quite loud, so keep that expectation in mind. And some type of detachable mode or wireless mode I think would be also nice to consider. But overall, works quite well. You can check out more details if you're interested in something like this. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.